Some big changes are coming to the hemp industry thanks to changes to Colorado law and soon federal law. The hemp industry is projected to swell to a $22 billion industry within the next few years. And Colorado is hoping to be at the forefront of that growth. Denver 7's Megan Lopez shows us how changing state and federal regulations are paving the way. Throughout over here, we're going to be more Spiegel putting up a couple of greenhouses, and this is where we'll be doing some R&D. He is a bit of a pioneer. Cannabinoid testing. For years, he's been pushing the industrial hemp industry into mainstream society. It's the infancy of the industry. But it hasn't been easy. There's still a long battle to be fought. He's been battling misconceptions about the difference between hemp and marijuana. It doesn't get you high. And federal drug laws that ban anything over 0.3% THC levels. Through 2017, uh, 10 or 15% of the crops in Colorado that have been tested have come in hot. Meaning all those crops had to be trashed. For now, that number won't change, but a newly passed Colorado amendment and soon to be passed federal farms bill is sprouting new hope for hemp. The plant's been completely cleared for commercial activities. This will further affirm and protect the laws that are already in place. It can be used to make more than 25,000 products by some estimates, ranging from rope to paper, clothing, backpacks, food, CBD oil, and more. So a lot of regular avenues of doing business have been blocked off to CBD companies, and the biggest one is banks and credit card processing. The new farm bill opens up a lot of those financial avenues. The really important protection in this bill specifically is crop insurance. Um, if they have any problems or a hailstorm takes out everything, they're just out of luck. Right now, Colorado is leading the country in hemp production, and these new laws will make way for more competition. But it's already hot. It's been a booming market since 2014. Back in Fort Collins? The barn will be used for drying the hemp. Beagle already has big plans for 2019. And we've got space out here, and we want to be growing hemp. Even if there's still a long legal road ahead. Our next fight will be with the FDA and, and how they're going to try to regulate it. Megan Lopez. This is going to be a really big deal for the state. Denver 7.